Hello, viewers, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is our continuing four-player playthrough of Jaws of the Lion campaign. Uh, so, uh, last time we did another scenario, another tutorial. We're still moving through the board game tutorial scenarios, even though they have been upgraded to full scenarios for the digital game. But we're almost done. Two more left, so let's dive in and get this one out of the way. Okay, so, uh, what do we have next? Ritual and Stone. Does anybody need to do shopping or anything like that? I'm good. It was the last time. Oh, that's right. I'm good. That's right, we did. All right, so let's just dive in then. You recovered a map from the black ship. Time to find out where it leads. Destroy all enemies. Destroy summoning stones. Right, this one. Okay, all right. I remember this one. I don't think I've gotten further than Scenario 8 in Jaws of the Lion. So, I'm I'm excited to see where this story takes us. It must be getting closer. New wanted posters are going up around town, featuring someone that looks strangely like one of your party members. You'd need to reposition their nose a bit, maybe throw a hood over their head, but you could probably collect on the 15 gold bounty. After a bit of banter, you all agree that would be crazy, even if you convinced the guards your party member was this crook and got the bounty, they'd have to escape from jail afterwards. Certainly wouldn't be worth it. Just crazy talk between good friends. <laughs> no way. No how. Not these buddies. Call for the guards or call for the guards, but loudly. Well, that's a Wait, option. So what's the choice here then? <laughs> so having gotten this one, I'll tell you, one of the choices is um, turn your friends in and the other one is uh, make a joke about it. Oh, okay. I see. Call for guards, but not loudly. Yeah, I guess probably that's a better option. Yeah, I think that sounds smarter. Okay. You call for the guards and attempt to frame your friend. Unfortunately, you can't keep a straight face long enough to seal the deal. The guards chastise you for wasting their time as your friend holds a bandage over their bleeding nose. You've been cursed, and one character gets the wound. Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> I nominate the person who has a heal self card to get the wound. Be me? No. I have no way to heal. No, that's me. Oh. You arrive at the building marked on the map, an old abattoir, and find an unexpected scene. The entire building has burnt down and is now nothing more than a scorched husk. This is certainly a new development, as you clearly remember the structure standing before you left on your hunt up the still river. And the fact that the location's been implicated in your search, well, the whole thing is rather suspicious, even if you can't put your finger on exactly why. A little bit of searching through charred rubble isn't going to stop you from getting to the bottom of this, though. Eventually, you uncover a set of stairs leading into a stone cellar. Given it's the only piece of the structure intact, you make your way down. A powerful smell of death grows increasingly strong as you descend enveloping you like a suffocating blanket until it almost overwhelms you. Thoughts of turning back creep in into your mind, but then you hear the chanting. The tone and cadence is similar to those creeps on the ship with the bloody altar. It doesn't take much longer to find the source. A short hallway at the base of the stairs leads into a large open room full of more red-robed zealots. Their chanting reaches a crescendo, and the whole floor begins to shake violently. Fissures erupt from the ground, 
around four massive rune-covered stones. Cracks form in the ceiling, sending huge chunks of rock crashing down. Your mind focuses, pushing away the complications of the last few weeks. If you don't end whatever ritual is going on right now, you will all be buried alive. So has anybody done anything interesting this week? Anything uh, fun? Not really. No, no, not really. No. I went out and ate crab. <laughs> you ate crab? Is that Did I hear that right? Got some crab legs. Oh. Fancy restaurant. That's cool. My sisters uh, love crab meat, so they buy it from the store all the time. Can't stand the stuff myself. <laughs> but that's cool. What restaurant was it? It's a Canadian chain called The Keg. Okay. Is it like a upper class fancy restaurant or? Yeah, it's like a steakhouse. The meals tend to be about fifty dollars. Woof. Just for the entree. Okay. Wow. I guess it's for the more expensive stuff, or like crab. Mm hmm. It's a steakhouse. Well, that sounds like fun time. Yeah. Two, three. We need to destroy the stones. They have five hit points. Okay. And that's, is this the only room? That's difficult terrain. Oh yeah, it's a, because of the tutorial mission, things have changed. One, two, three, four. It looks like it's just this room. So it looks like the tutorial mission added... No. These blocks were always here. So what got added? Maybe an extra monster or two. All right. Probably doesn't... zealots. There's yeah. a lot of zealots. All right. So what am I gonna do? Move three would get me there, and then. If there's no obstacles in this scenario. Oh, wait, there's a couple. I see them. Difficult terrain. You know what? Let's use that one. There's a branch there, a table, or what is that? Whatever that thing is. In the chair, okay. Move two, attack two at range and wound, and then heal self. Okay. Move, attack, stone golem suffers. Okay. these back I could go for the now nah, we'll hold off on the potion Unfortunately. 
you know what? I don't want you healing at all. So there. Man, I sure do love big, tough enemies that damage themselves. Like an auto wound. Very nice. Mage, are you there? Your turn. Yes, sir. Um, do you want me to heal you with the wound? Uh, no, I'll heal myself. Okay. It's all right. One, two. Well, how much does it heal? Three. Yeah, hold off on it. Yeah. Hold off on it at least one more turn, because then you'll heal my health and the wound. Do I want to hit the summoning stone or? Yeah, let's get rid of the guy who can hurt me. Sure. Okay. Maybe not. Thank you. What's Six. next? Could do this one. Move to wound. I don't want to pull. Hmm. That one pulls. Let's do the top of this one. And the bottom of this one. Sure. Okay. Really want to kill those guys then. Yeah. Oh, there's a heal. <laughs> oh, that helps. Fantastic. Sure, what? You said. They're gonna hit... Poison. Okay. And they do a wound. Okay. Why can I not use favor with that? Oh, there we go. There goes the cur uh, curse. Fantastic. Jeez, the hatchet is so good. <laughs> so good. You gonna try to take that stone? Yeah, I'll work on it. Alright. Uh... Put 
golems can hit at range, right? Yeah, so there's no point in immobilizing that one. And he's going to wound and poison. Yeah, all right. Uh, hold on. What are you doing after your turn? Range four. What were you planning to do, Zeki, on your turn? I can either do two damage to kill something or just power up my next attack. Either one's fine. Um, yeah, I'll leave this one health elite for you then. Okay. Uh, skip movement. No, 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 no. Undo, undo, undo. There's gold there. Why would I pass that up? Okay. Yeah! Woo! Um, what did you name your bird? Me? Yeah. G Gandalf the Grey. How's he doing? He was uh, making noise right as I sat down to play. <laughs> I had to shut him up. He's doing good. That's good. That's good. Two targets, muddle, wound. Did they go before? Yeah, alright, so I'll use the fire then. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, skip moment. Oh, there's my curse. Uh, Huh. I think it'd probably be smart to use this. Uh... There we go. This encounter seems pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's four out of five of the tutorial missions, but they didn't seem to have, they did not seem to have added, uh, that's not the right way to make that sentence, um, any new challenges from the tutorial. Yeah, there's just like a monster too. to break all these rocks. Yeah. Too bad they don't count as obstacles for you. That'd be very nice. Maybe too easy then, in that case. Yeah. There's <laughs> one card that lets me break objects easier but didn't take it. Very nice. Curse comes out. Now yeah, take it. OK. 
Okay. Those count as they do. <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice. Well done. Thematically, yeah. If the if Zeki's class has no trouble destroying obstacles, these golems shouldn't prove any more of a challenge. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Probably the bottom of this one. Yeah, I'll do the top of this one and... Yeah, the bottom of this one. This no, seems too this easy. One. What if we kill all the enemies? Yeah, I mean, it does seem too easy. Like, there should be more spawning, but... I mean, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, but if we kill them all and they spawn in more... Well, if we do it... The... Oops. If we do it fast enough, we might be able to do another one. Well, no, there's got to be more enemies, because look at our bar. Oh, you're right. <laughs> There's no other rooms, but you're right. Like, if you break one, something spawns. Oh. They, also, they can only be targeted by melee attacks. Which is even okay, come on. Down. Kill the elite. Kill the elite. Kill him. Kill him. Ah. Oh. One damage. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Woo! Thank God for that. Stone Golem's gonna kill himself this turn. Really? Wow. Two damage plus the wound, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it immensely. You can actually grab that, yeah. Minor mana potion, okay. First time you're using that? Yeah, first time. Thank you. Everybody's full, right? Yep. Yep. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Living on the edge.
Uh, well, alright. I use these, I guess. It's all the last... The last of the cards in my hand. I can hit this stone. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Well, I can't undo it now. I was going to give him disadvantage on the attack. Shoot. Ah, well. Uh, I can hit the stone. Let's find out what happens. Who wants to move? Uh, I'm okay. Oh, you I can see. move me. You can teach me, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, move me. I'll go back to the stone, I guess. Get the gold. <laughs> well, you don't get the gold until you end your turn there. I mean, I guess... Right, but you... I've never thought about that. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Um... Get to the other one. I guess you do live all on this. So nothing happened when you destroyed the stone. Okay. Maybe when they're all destroyed, something will happen. Maybe. Long rest. No enemies to pop up for that. The tremors have subsided. Oh, or that. <laughs> you feel you've finally gotten a handle on things. But then, more men with robes rush from the deeper tunnels of this wretched place to aid the others. So when two were destroyed. they do move attack yeah they don't move very much <clears throat> not this time And all your cards have such sinister sounding names. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh. That other one. Probably this one.
Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Hatchet, I think I might need a little help with this rock. <laughs> yeah. The tough rock. I keep missing it. I wonder what that made them immune to ranged attacks. To keep people like... Uh, well, mostly probably for positioning. Yeah. Um, to give the enemies a chance, but also to frustrate... Um, the hatchet and the red guard. <laughs> oh, the stones count as enemies on the bar. Oh, do they? The less than half. That's though. weird, but. Okay. <laughs> Problem solved. That was my new card. Neat. Very nice. attack cur okay Up here nice Now, will moving him disrupt either of your plans? It'll make it easier for you, me. You already did all that. <laughs> okay. And this will be a disadvantage. Oh, you crit him. Again. Good job. I'll pick up this gold. Three. Actually, I think we're going to have another group of enemies after we destroy this. Yeah. Okay. I got anywhere on this one. Yeah, you might as well just pick up some gold. Some, of course, I'm going to move right there.
Okay. Ugh, move one, loot one. Can you- Oh, can you loot the space I'm standing on? Yep. yep. Oh, you- <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. <laughs> okay. I Thanks thought, for the money. <laughs> I thought about doing it too. I would at least give you a strengthen for it. But... That's all right. That's all right. I'll position myself over here in case the enemies we summon spawn, I guess. Oh, I was going to use. Dang it. Next time. Next time. Oh. Yep, that figures. Can I? I don't know if that'll damage. I was able to. Yep. Nice. Oh, uh, it shouldn't have ended here. <laughs> did they spawn? I got one guy over here. Okay. Probably shouldn't have ended here. <laughs> Move zero, attack four. At least it's good to get a nail in the fucking. Okay. Almost nothing but good results. So. Attack, move attack, move attack. Alrighty. That for sure that counted. Gotta be more careful about that. It says. Range two. Why can't I? Oh, shield first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't panic. And now I can. Okay. Great. And then I use this. And now I'll do two retaliate damage whenever they try to hit me. What do I have left here? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll use this to get this one back. Okay. So if you want to leave that guy in front of you for me. I'll just retaliate, oh, kill him. So no one's adjacent to a wall. Tell me that guy is too far away. Because they can. Mm. You do this. A lot of work. I guess they don't really need to push him. Well, he, I think he was going to do damage to everybody adjacent, so pushing him away from you helped. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that one's gonna attack me now. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> Didn't even get through the shield. <laughs> okay. Three, four. Uh, it's it's not good, anyways. Man, look at her break early. Wow, retaliate. Range three? Oh, and then they wound and heal. That's... That's not fun. Oh, they're not damaged anyway, so... Not that big a deal. One higher than me. <laughs> you were you are so fantastic. This class is amazing. Uh let's see. Disarm lasts until end of the affected character's next turn. Yeah. So does that mean next turn or the end of this round? The next, next time they next take turn. their turn. Right, right. Next yeah. turn. Okay. He does have... That's alright. He does have... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Use the dirt. Oh, interesting. And then you can heal him for five and poison him. <laughs> <laughs> Using that darkness screwed up my check double check mark. Really? Yeah, I was getting seven XP or lower because you used that to give me two XP. I wasn't even paying attention. No biggie. I need something to hit me hard enough that I need to ditch a card. 
This is I don't think this is gonna happen. Just run up to the golem. Okay, that's, we did it. All right, a little bit of lag there. Okay, you can, add, thank you. That was weird. All right, it is the sound. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is cake. Feels like the easiest uh, scenario yet. Yep. Ninety move zero. Oh, and now he's hitting me. Ah, oh, that would do it if he got a plus one. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so bad with these perk b battle goals. That one's pretty tough early on. That's when you funny. Take... Yeah, I guess. I figured since we were facing off against golems, one hit from them would be enough, but... Yeah. Well, let's use this for the XP. And then, do I get one XP if I move? I'm not going to be damaging anything. Yeah, you burn the card, so I get the experience. <clears throat> well done, everyone. Perform an attack, there. I think it gives me the XP, so... Yep. Did it. You sit on the cracked stone floor and rest for just a second, eyeing the dark corridors leading off from this room, praying to the oak that more enemies don't appear from the shadows. Luckily, the exits remain silent, but that doesn't help with your ever-increasing sense of foreboding. Something is down in the depths of this place. So far, you've been blindly flailing around, trying to get to the bottom of this madness. And whatever it is, whatever answers you could hope to find, are waiting for you down that next tunnel. It's just a matter of taking the first step. Yeah. Ravager got his. Dude, damage done for the demolitionist. Look at that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the modifier deck on the demolitionist is crazy, I've noticed. Items used. Okay. And we st <laughs> we got a minor mana potion anyways. <clears throat> <laughs> Deep understanding.
Uh oh, did I finish? Waiting for players to confirm what? This is lagging. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Somebody gets the minor mana potion. Create any element. Do you want it, Sybil? Sure, I'll take it. Okay. How close am I to finishing that now that we... 7 out of 20. Ugh, I shouldn't have picked that one. Uh, so Zeki leveled up, looks like. Yep. 53 coins. So I could buy a weapon. You know, I do have a lot of ranged weapons. I am just going to pick this up, I think. Yeah. It'll be helpful. Single hex obstacle Jason to starting this Hey. Hmm. I don't have any negatives except for the miss. That's uh that's pretty good. Kind of jealous. <laughs> That'll leave me with one negative one. But I do get a bunch of plus twos. I guess I can't complain about that fact. Um <sighs> All right. Uh, are you guys done shopping? Done leveling up? Done upgrading? Yep. Yep. I'm going to save my gold for when we get prosperity, too. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get... Hmm. I don't know what uh, unlocks the uh, store what in uh, Jaws of the Lion. Oh, we don't even have a store? I no, mean, we do. Maybe I'll buy We do. And stuff uh, gets unlocked as we go through the game. I just don't know what unlocks it. Uh, yeah but uh, anyways um, thank you viewer for joining us until next episode stay safe and god bless you <laughs>